Day two. Nice art. Bro, I can't get over the artwork. The artwork in this game is so good. Good morning. I was wondering when you would wake up. Was worried for a minute when you weren't there. Well, I'm here. It probably takes a few minutes to boot up your routines, I guess. I say the same to Alt. Takes a minute for her to reboot herself. Hmm. This tastes so good. Actually, it doesn't hey, look that bad. Don't judge me. I like cold chicken. Hey, cold chicken, anyway, warm chicken. The case, as long as it's cooked. I still think there's something off with the book we found. I want to learn more about its content, but I don't want to hear it from an Amisha. Okay. I think we should visit the temple and talk to Reverend Jacobs to learn more about the echo of Ahura Mazda. All right. We're going to go and do that. A beautiful dawn. Uh, what's All up? right. Let's get into something less comfortable. Okay. Here we go again. Ready for business. Sweet. We dressed. Uh, bathroom? No time for a nap. We have detective... Oh, bedroom. All right, let's go. Good morning, everyone. Into Agent the meeting. Ramirez called in sick today, so he won't be with us for the next few days. Okay. Agent Tanner, I've received a message from the bishop's assistant. He wanted to thank you for finding the missing book so quickly and asked when he could get it back. Reading your report, you want to keep the case open. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, sir. The death of Officer McCarthy demands a whole new angle on the investigation. We need to find the connection between the alleged robbery and the homicide. I'll have to keep the book as evidence for the time being. Very well. The assistant also mentioned some translation work. I'll just forward the message to your digipad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's it then. Everyone get busy. All right. Um, I've still got the glass. Odd. Very, very odd. Okay. We can get cus. Why am I here? Anyway, back out. We don't need to be there. You. I have something for you, Agent. Nice. Hannah. We got something. We examined the device you brought us yesterday. Okay. The analysis isn't complete yet, but I thought you'd be interested in the preliminary results. Okay. It's quite strange indeed. When placed on a human body, it injects nanodrones into the bloodstream. These drones move towards the brain, searching for a neural interface. If they find one, they connect to the interface's memory and download data from a designated memory range. Sounds dangerous. Then, they return to the device, which checks the data for a specific checksum. If the test is positive, the device sends out a signal and deactivates. If it's negative, it sprouts tendrils and kills the host. For what data are the drones looking? Oh. We still try to find that out. At a glance, it looks completely random. Okay. I have nothing. Well, we've got to go and talk to this someone There's in here. There's no right? reason to visit. Oh. Okay. Um, what about the station? Uh, oh, these guys aren't here now. The front desk. No. These tanks. No. Another bit. No. All right. Uh, I could probably go down and into the the morgue. Oh, we can check the morgue. Cool. Hold up. Before we do that, I want to go here. Oh, it is empty in here. I don't have any. Okay, yeah, fuck it. We'll go to we'll we'll, we'll go to the morgue. No, that's the Neon Temple. We can go to the Neon Temple now! I want to go to the morgue first. A diverse array of medical instruments is neatly arranged and hung in a case on the wall. Yeah. The analyzer will make fingerprints visible by iodine fuming. Okay. The screen displays a collection of information about the deceased, but I can't make much sense of it. Okay. I really don't need to have another look at McCarthy's body. I should talk to the coroner instead. Okay. And uh, let's talk to the coroner. Please give me the summary of the autopsy. Sure. The victim has been confirmed to be Officer Neil McCarthy, age 48. I could have told you that. We're dealing with a case of spontaneous flesh sprouting here. The cause of death was multiple piercings of internal organs or the brain. Though I've seen victims of such sprouting before, they never looked this symmetrical. 
The pattern the tendrils followed looks very orderly, unlike the typical organic or chaotic growth you would expect. I've read about the device you found in the reports. It was situated at the center of the sprouting, is that correct? Yes, it is. I've plugged it from McCarthy's chest. It's still getting analyzed. Interesting. Well, the time of death was around 2.30 p.m. There are no signs of a fight, and he didn't fire his weapon. Have you found anything in his belongings? Yes, we did find a few notes in a hidden pocket of his jacket and his gun. The gun has already been sent to HQ, but I'll give you the notes. Okay, thank you. Can I have a look at the notes? I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. Cool. Um, those are in some kind of code. I can't make any sense of them. Right, so... Fuck. Alright, um... Let's go and check out the temple of... Uh, the Neon Temple. Okay, not as cool as the flesh-looking one, though. A table with a digital display showing a list of prayers. Often people come here and go through the list from top to bottom. Eh. Neon cross. The Church of Neon retained the cross symbol. More as a brand than a symbol with any actual meaning. Okay. Mrs. Tanner, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Do you have a moment to discuss a book that's come up in one of our cases? I'd appreciate your insights. Ah, uh, the echo of Ahura Mazda. What you want to know about it? Uh, can you tell me what the book is about? It's a beautifully tragic story about a father trying to be a good parent. It's one of the last stories by Zarathustra, and one of his most famous, especially within the Amesha community. Ahura Mazda had three children. The oldest was called Asha, an intelligent young woman, very disciplined and orderly. Her younger brother, Agash, was the exact opposite, full of life and curiosity, exploring the world and pushing boundaries. The two siblings were constantly competing, and sometimes their competition got a bit out of hand. But Sounds like time, a brother and a sister. Ahura reminded them about the importance of family, and they eventually got back together. That was until the third child was born, Hastur. He was lacking Hasta. emotionally and intellectually. The when he Lovecraft didn't understand Greek, um, something, yeah. he wanted to break and destroy it. Still full of love, Ahura watched with growing despair as Hastur became more violent and sadistic with each passing year. He was the catalyst for Asha's and Agash's building animosity, and the conflict and fighting between the three got completely out of hand. Ahura knew that if this continued, it would end in disaster. He pleaded with his children to stop, but when he saw it was to no avail, he started singing. A lullaby as old as time itself, <clears throat> slowly putting all his children to sleep. And even then, they continued to fight. In the dreamlands, they could never die. Ahura knew, as long as he would sing, his children would be safe. So he never stopped, and we pray that he never will. Okay. What can you tell me about the author? The book was authored by the prophet known as Zarathustra, whose real name was Hendrik Beckenheim. He adopted <laughs> the name Zarathustra about two years following the inflection, inspired by his first vision. Okay. He didn't live Edgy. long after this point. He took his own life about a year later, but not before writing a collection of short stories, parables, and the book you brought me here. There were many rumors and speculations surrounding his death, but the Church of Flesh promoted the narrative that it was an act of love and devotion. They called him a martyr for their cause. Okay, do you notice anything special about the book? It looks really nice and expensive. I'm not an antiquarian, though. However, I do know one. Mr. Corso on 4th Street could help you with that. Okay, awesome. So now we've got a new place to go, I imagine. Uh, where would that be? Uh, is there anything over here? Yes, we've got a bookstore. Okay, let's have a look around. Even though the store looks in disarray, the shelves are neatly organized. This is interesting, man. I'm actually really invested. A uh, computer. Hands off, unless you have a warrant. It's Tony Stark! 
Mr. Corso, I've come to Mr. Corso ask looks at Tony Stark's book, following Reverend Jacob's recommendation. What can you tell me about it? It's a nice looking, very ornate book cover, something we call a facade. The shiny exterior is designed to distract from the book's contents, a diversion. This book is extraordinary. These pages have been carefully treated to appear new, but to my trained eye, it's obvious that they are not. They're hiding something. Yes, there's a second layer beneath the mundane writing. I see your eye implant. May I install a small routine that will reveal the underlying text to you? Uh. Okay. 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 Transfer is complete. That was Activate fast. your scanner to see if it works. That was fast. How do I activate my scanner? Do I have to? Uh. Whoops. No, 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 no. What do you mean activate my scanner? That is my scanner, right? I can only scan items in the suitcase. No, that's... What? Uh well, I'm so confused. The owner of the bookstore is not letting me out of his sight. Even hands off. I I am confused. Oh yeah, I got a note, didn't I? McCarthy's note. Fuck, I ain't done anything with that yet, have I? I, I tried to find information on the. I, I am so confused. What do you mean? I... Oh. Oh, I can talk to myself about these things. How do I activate the scanner? You mean this? Oh, that. I'm this fucking stupid. But I can't read any of it. Here, you can transfer the contents to your digipad. Okay. I tried to find information. I assume you do know a little about codes and secret writing. What do you make of these notes? Hmm. This is gibberish, but look at the space between each sentence. The paper has a slightly different color there. I presume this is some kind of invisible ink. Can you make it visible? Let me get my magnifying glass. This looks like some kind of starch-based ink to me. You could make it visible with iodine, but I don't have the necessary equipment for that. Okay, I know where the iodine stuff is. Uh... Can I give you this? I assume you do know a little about codes. Okay, no. Hmm. It, it's the same Can thing you again. Make it visible? Same thing again. Okay. This looks shit. Like uh. All right. We can go down the morgue. Uh. Eh. It worked. There is okay. a combination in the space between the sentences. Okay. Cool, that it? The combination on McCarthy's notes reads 8733. 8733. But for what? Like... 8733. Uh... Um... An interact eight seven three three. What would I get out of that? Uh, oops, didn't mean to do that. No, 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 don't quit, don't quit. Eight seven three three. Do I then 
I assume you do know a little. Oh my God, no, that's not. Can you make it? Eight seven three three. Hands off, unless you have. Maybe to this woman here. I have nothing to ask her. Right? Do we not? I don't think for. Eight seven three. I give that to. Oh, what's this? Highway. I can go to the highway now. I don't have a destination out of town. Oh, okay. There's no re No reason to go back to the church. There's no reason. An to... interactive terminal that provides information for passengers uh, and tourists. Uh Okay, none of that works. Um, can I not combine the no? Didn't work. Do I need this? No, it didn't work. Okay. I don't. Know. The combination on McCarthy's notes reads eight seven three three. Do I go back to the Neon Temple? Talk to him about this? No. No. Um. Bishop Atura translated the recording. To his own accord, it's just a random tirade against the Church of Flesh. The language spoken is called Avastan. Okay. Is that useful to me in any way? I have nothing to ask. I have nothing. <sighs> Am I missing something? I tried to find information on the code with my digipad, but found nothing. Uh... What about... One second, go to the morgue. No. I really don't need What? The analog the Who am I going to then? I've been to everywhere. I've There's done everything no I can, right? Hello again. Oh. I assume you have storage lockers here at the station? Where can I find them? Go to the right first and then down the escalator, and you'll find them there. Thank you. Uh. What was the code again? The combination on McCarthy's... 8733. 8733. Uh. That's... What? What? 8733. Uh. Eight, seven. Oh, it opened. Ouch. Ah, uh, mm, what? Okay. Are you okay? That yellow sign. It gives me. It gives me a yellow? headache. This digipad doesn't display color. Do you recognize the sign? I don't know. I think I've seen it somewhere before, but I can't recall. I'd rather not think about it. I don't think so, but I don't remember much uh, at all. So. Okay. If you're not feeling well, tell me. We can visit Kingdom Hospital any time to check the connection. I don't want my neural interface getting fried. Uh, None of these... 
Their stairs go up to the terminals. Wait, what did that just say? Because this pad is an older model, it seems to be frozen on that weird symbol. Uh, let's go back to the headquarters. Hi, yeah, you. This thing this. is broken. Do you want me to fix it? Not right now, but I would be interested if you know anything about that symbol. Also, while you're at it, please check its superposition. Okie dokie. Okay, Can't find okay. anything about that symbol in our database. The superposition is not available. The broken pad probably interferes with the scanner. I had that problem before, and it can be quite tricky to find and eliminate the interference. Sorry, I couldn't be of more help here. I know this sounds strange, but is it possible that the pad showed a yellow color? Color? No, this model is monochrome. <coughs> Maybe something reflected in it. The screen is very shiny. <coughs> ah. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe this dude can. Um. There we go. Have a look. Can you make any sense of the text? I'm afraid I'm as dumbfounded as you. I don't recognize that language. We'll have to talk to someone that recognizes language. The language of the book could be blah blah blah. I guess so. I haven't seen any Avastan writing in a long time. Could you translate it? I'm afraid I'm a bit rusty in old Iranian languages. I do have a translation help somewhere around here, but I don't have the time for that. See, I have a business to run here. There's literally no one here besides us two. Oh, mm. my clientele usually doesn't come here in person, but rest assured that I'm a very busy man. Okay. Who there's that guy who knows languages, who's a language expert over in this temple. Can I go to him? No, I can't. Okay. Huh. What about this man? No? Can I show you this? Do you recognize this symbol? No. It's so asymmetrical. The Church of Neon would never use such a symbol. It's also no Amisha symbol I would recognize. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Um. Fuck. What about? Is there anywhere new that's open that I haven't noticed? So Neon Temple is no help. He's no help at the moment. Uh, nope. I can't go out of town. Can't go there. There's the train station still. Hello again. I assume you have story. Go to the right. Front. Yeah, yeah. Thank we're you. already looking. At, we're already looked at that. That's that's fine. We'll go here again. I don't know if there's gonna be anything new here. I doubt it. Yeah, nothing None new. None of these. None of this I've is helpful picked... here. Their stairs go up. Okay, so that rules that out. Uh, I don't need to buy. Don't need anything from the store. Morgue. Do you recognize this symbol? Nope, can't do that. Cool. Uh, shit. What about anything I can? Didn't work. Uh, McCarthy's this? pad seems to be frozen. I can't. Okay, no transfer of data there. This. Well, this pad is older and model, uh, and superposition is error. Uh, nope. Cool. Okay, none of that. Hmm. Can't go there. Temple of Neon's not got anything for me, so this leaves these three in the middle. Let's try here, I guess. Are all the same places open? Yeah. Anyone here got any idea? Fuck. Nothing. Okay. Can I look at it? I don't know if it's going to serve me any good. Nope. Didn't work. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, it literally just leaves me here. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a thing in here with this. What about you? I have nothing to 
I have no I idea where to go then. I don't know. There's something I've missed. There's something I've missed. I really don't. Uh... I said never mind. Hands off, unless you have a war. It sounds like I need to get a war. Even though the. I'm sorry, but I don't recognize that symbol. Doesn't recognize the symbol. Superposition makes no sense. Uh, maybe the police will help. I've, I've already been to the police. Like, that didn't work. Didn't work. Maybe I can just talk to him. Hey, Sonny, I need your help again. You're really busy lately, aren't you? What can Man, I do? Are you a dev on this game? Do you have anything on a Mr. Corso, owner of the bookstore in 4th Street? Just a second. Yes, here he is. Oh, quite a collection of unpaid parking tickets. Perfect. Tell your boss I might make a deal on those. I hope that's all right. Well, he won't be overjoyed, but if it's for the greater good, he won't mind. Okay, <laughs> maybe you are. Is what I'm see is what I'm is what I'm hearing. Uh you call yourself a businessman. I have a deal for you. I'm all ears. You've accumulated an impressive $325 in parking fines. Whoa! I figure that should be enough to compensate you for your time spent translating that book. Ha, not even close. But I'll make you a counter offer. I'll translate the first page for you and we'll forget about those tickets. Deal. Okay, deal. Okay. First, we have the author, Zoroaster. The title of the book is Raz Aji. It's very difficult to get a precise translation. Is it? I swear, he's saying like Hasta, and it's always making me think of his H.P. Lovecraft. Worm. It has to the be, right? That's why I might recognize that symbol. Again, it's hard to convey the exact meaning. But it's something akin to, he may never return. The key and the lock must be kept separate. The key could also refer to an idea or memory in this context. Now, I presume our deal is concluded. I'll get back to my work now. I'm going to take a wild guess. The key and the lock are the are the brother and the sister, and they keep the other child, Hasta, locked away. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I'm just... I don't know. I'm, I'm just spitballing. Uh... Hands off. Don't have a warrant. <sighs> right. Hey, Amy, what oh. about lunch? Okay. Uh, what about lunch, I guess? No. I mean, you come over here and eat lunch with me at the Flavor Palace. Oh. Sure, I guess I could take a break and eat something. I'll be there in ten. Good. I have a table in the center of the restaurant. Can't miss me. Okay, where's that? Where are we? Uh, not that way. Uh, cool restaurant. Restaurant. There you are. I've ordered you some samosas. They are amazing. She looks a little bit like oh, what's her name? The main character from Mirror's Thanks. Edge. Do you feel better? It was a bit rough yesterday. I'm feeling just fine. Got the day off, living my life, bored to death. How's Jeff? Very busy. Haven't seen him in days. But he promised to make up for it on the weekend. Got some surprise in store, I figure. Uh, any idea how we could catch up with Anna Steele? If you ask me, she can rot in those stinking tunnels. Did the CSU find anything? They're still combing through the tunnels. It's a maze, stretching for miles. I hope to hear back from them tomorrow, or I'll just drop by spontaneously. Okay. Uh, what about you? Is there something? Is there someone in your life? I'm still saving myself for the one and only Prince Charming. 
have you maybe what about the lady in front of you jeesh amy are you flirting with me what would jeff say oh let me guess he'd be all over the two of us that's I mean, not what i meant i mean i mean I, you know what i mean ha huh. it's so easy to make you blush but i know your secrets little one can't hide your dark side from me dark you? side They seem to show recipes. Why would anyone want to read those? Well, probably some marketing genius. I like her boots. There's our food. Hmm, that does smell amazing. So no, about the got any leads? Yes, actually, I found out more about the missing book. It's way older than it ought to, and I found out the title and author, kind of. And then there's McCarthy's digipad. I swear it's that's Hasta's symbol. But look at the screen. Have you seen that symbol before? Actually, I think I did. There's this creep living way out in Kingsport. He had a sticker with that thing on his car. Here, I'll give you the address if he still lives there, but be careful, he has a thing for drugs and violence. Sounds like a good guy. You're leaving already? Yes, peace. Yeah, sorry. Crime doesn't wait. You can't live on appetizers alone, Amy. Take care. You say that. Have you met my wife in real life? Yes, you can live on appetizers. You absolutely can. I'm going to guess I need to go out of town now, then. Yeah. Okay. I need to get my bike gear from the armor manager before I can go down the highway. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, 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 here we go. Okay. Boom. Boom. I'm ready to ride. Cool. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Okay, I'll shut up. Uh, let's go. Oh, that's a sick screen. Sometimes I feel like I should just keep driving. Leave Carcosa behind. Find a new place to live. Don't we all? I've got Jeff, Fly, and the others. But still, I don't feel like I belong. <laughs> I tell myself these things take time. But I can feel the anxiety deep down, questioning how much longer. Well... Still gotta solve this case. Maybe I should take some time off after. Next exit's Kingsport. Let's see if that guy is home. <clears throat> Alright, what we got around here? We can see a few things. Carcosa in the background looks almost menacing. The longer I stare, the smaller I feel. Alright. Uh wiring. That wiring has definitely not been approved by the county. This guy's just out here living on his own. Looks very complex. Is this for an alarm system or for network access? That kid sure knows some things about neon tech. And it's just him left, okay. Cyber kid. For Aaron, he's not here. Okay. Why do you think that I'm looking for him? You're not the first cop paying us a visit, and I'm trying to <laughs> stay out of the line of fire. Oh my god. Do you mind if I look around inside the house? Sure do. That's private property, Aaron's property. Uh, have you seen this symbol? Shit. I'm not going to drive all Oh shit. Uh what's uh, what's your name, kid? Are you asking for my ID? That would help, yes. Here. I hope you're happy now. Yeah. You look younger. Fake ID. I get bitch. to hear that all the time. Don't take it as a compliment though. Uh, I can come back with sure, a warrant. Do that. I won't go anywhere. Okay. The wire in the house looks sketchy. Maybe I should get someone over here. That's Aaron's work. Ask him if you have a problem. Bitch. I'm not going to drive all the way back. Motherfucker, what do you want me to do? That? You want me to give him some? I don't know. Fucking in here. No. Cool. Uh. 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 Do you want a book? No. Cool. Do you want an expensive book? No. Cool. Um. Fucking move. I'll shoot. No. <laughs> this phone. Fuck off. Fuck off. This phone. Looks very complex. I talk to myself. 
I'll have a look at all those things soon. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Can I talk to her again? No. Do you know anything about this? Can I glass you? No. Do you want a toy? Uzu was a toy. No, okay, cool. Uh, did you? I'll check the property registry. Yes, there she is. She owns 50% of that house. She is responsible for that wiring. I'll check the property registry. Bitch, come here! You are registered in the deed of the house, so you are also responsible for it. I'm what? Ugh, see, I don't want any trouble. Go inside if you must. Then stop blocking me from going inside, you silly bin. Hey, you got a tight house, huh? Oh my god, there's a lot to look at. Wait, there's a safe hidden beneath that carpet. Okay. Well, I'm not getting in there just yet. Give me a second, yeah? Photos. Oh no. There's a code in this. A couple of old Polaroids. His family, maybe? He scribbled numbers below them. Yeah, there's gonna be like a code, I don't know, from old to young or something like that. We'll figure that out in a minute. Uh pile of stuff. In the pile. I'll take it. <laughs> Just straight up stole from the guy. Love it. Can I uh can I have a look? No, can I No, that's not gonna work. No, can I? Halo, a holo card, a holo card, with a video game on it. Game is called Brain Bait. Superposition Six. Okay, what about you? No, nope, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't have time to go through the pockets. Okay, don't have time to go through the pockets. Apparently, we got the computer. But we also have the posters. Oh, hello, Master. Master Chief. Computer. The computer is password protected. I bet it is. Okay, maybe, uh, what was that code again? Maybe this is the code. 8733. Oh, no. 8... 7... Oh, God, there's a few. There's a few, okay. Shit. Um... The computer... Where would I find the code for this? Aaron's computer is locked. Do you have the password? And why would I give that to you? I've got brain bait here. How about you trade for the password? Fine, whatever. What? The password is Hyades. H-Y-A-D-E-S. Hyades. I've unlocked the computer. Oh, I did it. I didn't hmm, have to remember it. That's subtle. There's a document with a safe icon. It reads, In the dawn of youth, years seem but few, a world unripe under morning's dew. Yet as seasons turn in time's swift dance, we age, unknowing, in life's advance. Then comes a year, silent, unseen, unlocking death's door where youth had been. With each wrinkle, a story fades, <coughs> In the march to dusk, light slowly wades. In this play of life, we're fleeting guests, with time as our guide to eternal rests. Uh, okay. I still think maybe these the, need... Maybe the photos have something to do with the poem. Something about aging? Uh... Maybe the photos have something. Bro, I'm gonna have to fucking figure some kind of code out here. Oh shit. Okay. I don't know. Is this the code three seven three four nine six zero? I don't fucking know. It'd be handy if I could move things. Maybe the photos have something. Let me have a listen to that code again. That, that I've again. unlocked the computer. Let me hear it In again. In the dawn of youth, years seem but few. Okay. A world unripe under morning's dew. Okay. Yet as seasons turn, in time's swift dance, 
We age, unknowing, in life's advance. Yeah. Then comes a year, silent, unseen, unlocking death's door where youth had been. With each wrinkle, a story fades. In the march to dusk, light slowly wades. In this play of life, we're fleeting guests, with time as our guide to eternal rests. Right, so this... Yeah, so... So, the, I guess, what? Ah, fuck! There's different numbers on all of these, but there's numbers down there. Come on, brain. Come on, brain. You've got this. Four. Three. No, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, four, three, zero, six, three, nine. I fuck. I don't know. Hold on, let me take a picture. All right. Okay. Here we go. Right. I'm gonna just try what I said. It's not gonna work. Three. No, that's not what I wanted already. I fucked that up. All right. Uh, four, three, zero, six, three, seven, uh, three, seven. Oh, not all of these. I've got to do these in age order, I'm assuming. The ages of the people in the... Th like, it's it's a poem about aging. So you start off with young, get older. Right? I... What? Back to the poem. I've unlocked the computer. Okay. Hmm. In the dawn of youth, yeah. years seem but few. A world unripe under morning's dew. Yet as seasons turn in time's swift dance, we age, unknowing, in life's advance. Then comes a year, silent, unseen, unlocking death's door where youth had been. With each wrinkle, a story fades. In the march to dusk, light slowly wades. In this play of life, we're fleeting guests, with time as our guide to eternal rests. Fuck me. Uh, uh, is the first one nine? No, because nine's the old lady. Is it four? Because four's under the child? That's the youngest one there? You have the right idea? I mean, it's old. It's a bit older than she looks, though. Okay. Four. Six. Zero, three. Huh. Oh! It opened. Well, that's a disappointment. Yeah, boy! The only thing inside the safe is an empty envelope. Woo! Thank you. What's in the envelope? What do you mean, didn't... What do you mean, didn't... What? Oh, it's an empty envelope. I don't trust it. No, okay, that didn't work. I thought that would work. Empty envelope. Hey! Wait! Ooh. Who is this? Aaron? Stop! I need to talk to you. Damn it, I have to go after him. Get on your bike, then. Oh no. Oh no? Aaron, are you okay? He's not breathing. Sonny, I've got a 1050 one mile north of Kingsport. Acknowledged. Units are on their way. It will take them some time to get out there. Roger, I will have a look around. Oh.
There's a whole lot of shit. A part that broke off the maintenance drone. Okay. There's just more parts that broke a part off. That broke yeah, okay, there's just loads of parts that broke off. No okay. signs of life, poor kid. I've found a scrap of paper in his pockets. Let me read it! Alright. Small piece of paper with some numbers on it. Super busy. They give me the fucking numbers! Fuck you. Fine. Uh. Why do these flesh devices always have to be so complicated? <sighs> mm hmm. Empty socket. There seems to be a part in. I'm not lights. sure if these are status lights or controls. I'd better keep my hands off them. Uh, screen. The screen just shows fatal error. Okay, and this, that's it in here so far. I can't think of anything to go there. Have I missed anything? Maintenance drone. Oh, no, that's why I already clicked on. So the car. The car crashed into a maintenance drone. The drones are usually programmed to avoid oncoming traffic. We still on this game? Yeah, we are. I'm, I'm I, I like it. I'm not leaving. I'll leave the body to the corner. They fit together. Oh. Maybe Cultus Signi Flavi refers to a place, and the numbers on the scrap are GPS coordinates. I should put them in my digipad. Well, that's interesting. The coordinates point to a place at the abandoned station. I should check the exact position when I go to the tunnels tomorrow. I'm liking not, mo not, in not too into this one. That's cool, dude. Okay, so... That's done. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Okay, you're not leaving. The car crashed. There seems to be a. There seems to be. Hmm. I'll leave the body. T the car crashed. I'll check the property registry. Yes, there she is. Okay, we've already seen that. Uh. What does it want me to do now? There's something I'm missing. Where am I going? To make sure he's dead. <laughs> okay. Can I... use this... in here? No. Uh... This isn't going to work. Wait, it did say he had one of these stickers on his car, right? So if I go back and then try this on his car, will it... Oh, okay. I'll... What am I doing? I'm not leaving before... I'm not leaving before I've found out what happened here. <laughs> I need to find something to put in that, but I don't know what. Huh. Yeah. A part that broke. A part. Oh. Okay. I don't understand everything that the log shows, but it seems to me that the drone was off the street when the impact happened. 
Did Aaron lose control of the car? I didn't see any brake marks. He might have been on drugs, considering his habits. We'll know more when the coroner takes a look, but I can't shake that underlying feeling that he might have crashed on purpose. Okay. Does this change anything? I'm not sure if these... Okay. Whoops. The car crashed into a maintenance drone. Yet we know that now. I'll leave the... Okay, it's we can now late. exit. I should put the biking gear back in the armory. Uh, back in the armory. Uh, back to the armory. Do you have anything for me, by the way? Oh, bye then. Okay, let's go home. It's yeah, boy. Home time. Good evening, Agent Tanner. Oh, why are you I in my house? I apologize for calling this late on an oh. official matter. Okay. Our mutual acquaintance, Mr. Corso, told me about your visit. Now I've come to hear that you were able to decipher parts of my book. It is time to talk. I've arranged a meeting tomorrow at 11 a.m. at my residence. Okay, I will see. I expect you to be punctual. That should be an easy task for a Deva. He hung up. What an asshole. Asshole. Nevertheless, if he has valuable information, and if I don't want to get in trouble with my boss, I should be there. Uh... Do we have another drink? A kitchen cabinet full of glass. Jeff hasn't been. Carcosa might not. Okay, fair enough. Uh, bedroom, I guess. Yeah, what? You've noticed it. Well, I guess it's hard to overlook. Yes, sometimes I spend the night in there. Consensually, of course. But what about you? Does this make you uncomfortable? I mean, no, but. Okay, you know what? We'll go easy on it for the time being, and if you want out at any point, just say it. Wait, what? You're not... Wait, what? Yo, she, she into that kinky shit? No, I'm not going to rummage through the drawers. Oh, Jeff forgot his digipad. This man, a genius, but totally inept to keep his stuff together. Does that mean I've taken it? No, okay. It's a padded steel cage. I've already... Okay, let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. Yo, we having dreams? Huh. I'm just betting it's the king in yellow or something, man. I really am. <laughs> 